everybody. As always, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregor Outdoors. Thank you for joining me on another one. Uh, I actually I filmed this intro to this video uh, out at the marsh. Um, but apparently, as you guys can see on the screen here, uh, for whatever reason, there was no video. I don't know if I just didn't have the, the lighting correct, I'm assuming. Um, but again, thank you for joining me in another episode. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray, turn on those bell notifications. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well so you guys can see all the behind-the-scenes footage and videos and clips and reels and all the stuff that happens that doesn't make it into the videos but uh, I, before this video starts I want to highlight a product that uh, I use on every single hunt I don't leave without it just because of the situations I can end up in I can use it as a camera mount I can use it as a um, as a hanger for them for my gear in the marsh but the high and dry utility pole by high and dry um, this thing is absolutely incredible they have designed a product I've done review videos on it before but it's something that as a waterfowl hunter if you hunt in marshes and you feel hunting timber and stuff like that it is essential for you guys like I said I got two of them I use one of them as a camera stand and I use the other one uh, in the marsh to hold my gear it'll hold um, birds bags clothing um, I've used it for just about every one of those situations, so it's it's pretty versatile. Like I said, if you want to uh, go check them out, I'll leave them link down below in the description. Go check them out; it's a great company. There's a bunch of accessories for it. But I hope you guys like the video, uh, and we'll see you at the end. There we go. There we go. We have moved spots. Uh, I don't know if uh, if I caught anything, but when I walked in here, there was uh, probably a couple hundred birds, a hundred birds or so in here. So hoping we didn't uh, spook them too bad and they'll come back. I did take a shot, so we'll see. Um, kind of a poke, a bunch of teal, mallard, widgeon. Hopefully we'll get lucky and they'll come back and we'll get a couple shots off. It's you know, finish up the day and that didn't start very good, so hopefully we can end on a good note and see what happens. Stay tuned folks. I shouldn't have taken that last shot because that would have sucked.
Well, I really hope you guys saw most of that. Um, it's been pretty, pretty slow until the last about 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, a bunch of mallards came in, took a shot, I missed. Um, and then immediately following that, a bunch, I want to say probably 30 widgeon or so came in. Went three for three on the widgeon. Uh, two drakes and a hen. And then the mallards came back around and uh, we uh, picked up this hen. Another hen mallard. So we're up to four now. Uh, we need three more for a limit and then uh, we're out of here. So hopefully we can get a couple more big ducks in and uh, call it a day real quick. Uh, Stay tuned, it's been pretty good so far. Well, uh, I want to apologize. I've been having some camera issues, as you guys could see in the video. I've been having some camera issues with my GoPros. Uh, in this video, uh, my Hero 9, the battery actually, I don't know if it expanded while it was in the camera, or if I, if I just didn't catch it before I put it in there, but the battery expanded a little bit and I couldn't get it out. And so I was kind of kind of left with, uh, with the one GoPro, but I was able to capture, you know, one of the coolest things that I've ever been able to experience, a three for three shot. Um, I have not been shooting very good this year. I don't know why, but um, I mean, I do know why. It's me. Um, but again, um, I, I appreciate you guys if you guys made it this far. As always, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Make sure you like the video. Make sure if you go follow me on Instagram. All that is linked below down in the description. Uh, and again, uh, the high and dry utility pole, I use this thing on every single hunt. If you guys are interested, I'll leave them linked down below in the description. High and dry. Uh, the utility pole, there's a bunch of accessories, cup holders. Uh, they got a little ammo holder. Um, they got a bowman too. Uh, you can stick a, a bow holder and it's it's just so versatile. The whole crew over there, they're, they're super great guys. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Uh, stay tuned. We got a few more videos coming out. We're taking a trip down to Arizona to Yuma to see some friends. Uh, we're going to go on a guided hunt in Salton Sea. Uh, we're going to be going up north for a goose hunt. And we drew tags in New Mexico for a sandhill crane. So, as always, uh, again, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And until next time, we'll see you out there.